Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make my um, arroz and mantequilla or buttered rice. Um, I usually make this when I make dishes that um, have a lot of, you know, spice or flavor. And I like to make this rice for my kids as well. Okay, so I have a pan on. It was already hot, but I'm going to bring it to a medium. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my butter today i am using the golden soft butter so to that i'm it's i'm just gonna eyeball it but i'd say it's a cup and a half of, i mean a half a cup not a cup and a half half a cup of butter and to that i'm gonna use two garlic cloves um i don't have it garlic cloves right now so I would normally just add a big garlic, but because I don't have any, I'm gonna add two, um, two small ones. I'm gonna go ahead and let the, the butter melt a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and I have one cup of a rice. And I'm gonna go ahead, since the butter is almost melted, I'm gonna go ahead and dump the half, the cup of rice. So what I'm gonna do is, you do not wanna toast it. Just kind of get it, get the butter completely melted. Um, I just made this, uh, this rice with my um, uh, pollo and crema de chipotle. Uh, I think it's my last video, and this is what I serve it with. So it's almost all melted. So to that, I'm going to add two cups of hot water. Okay, I got my two cups of hot water. Do not let um, leave your your um, your rice unintended because it will stick to the bottom. So you have to move it around. You don't want to toast it up. You just want the butter to completely melt. So my butter is about to, it's completely melted already. So to that, I'm gonna add my two cups of water. And there it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. Um, unstick the rice that, you know, if it got stuck on the bottom, move your spoon around so you guys can get the rice. Okay. Okay, it's completely mixed. So to that, I'm gonna add about, I'd say three to four uh, teaspoons of the nor. Um, you wanna add enough because you're not adding any other seasonings to these. That's all you're adding. You know, the butter doesn't have that much flavor. So I add anywhere between three to four so it gives it a little bit of a flavor and if you feel like you need of course if you make more than a cup then you can add um, more teaspoons I'm gonna add four because I feel like it's gonna need flavor so I'm gonna go ahead and let it come to a boil so I have it on medium, guys, okay? So I have it on medium. I'm gonna go ahead and um, cover it up and give me a second. Okay, guys, so I covered it up and I put it to a low medium, a medium low, and then I let it cook and there it is. It's completely cooked. Um, you guys can go ahead and add cilantro on top just for a little bit of flavor. It tastes just 
like buttered rice um but i leave it plain because i do have a picky toddler so he won't eat you know the rice if it has anything in it but this is how i serve my kids just put it in a bowl and they eat it all up and there you go the buttered rice or arroz in mantequilla um, if you guys like this recipe or you guys want to see more recipes, um, go ahead and leave me a comment down below or you can always message, uh, message me or comment on my IG. I will go ahead and pin that down below and thank you for watching guys and enjoy. Bye bye.